there's a bit of a rectangle created by this field. You can see you've got a corner here, a corner there, and then in the middle there's a bunch of trees, and they, if you imagine they create the other left-hand side of this rectangle. Yeah. So it looks like two squares blocked in. Um, so all I want you to do is we're going to try and do some local ground reference maneuvers. We're going to fly over the edges of this box that we've just created, this rectangle. Okay. We're going to try and hold about 4,500. That's a good altitude. We're going to try and hold about 60 to 70 knots. And I want you to see how, based on whether you're turning into the wind or away from the wind, whether you have a crosswind left or right, how it's going to mess up or how it's going to influence how much you have to turn, when you have to turn, whether you have to crab or not. So you see a square that's been created with this, this thing. Let me show you this, okay. You see where this trail meets these wires? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get down to 4,300, and we're going to follow this trail. I'm just going to follow along lightly if you want. So that T is my turning point, okay? So I come over, clearing right, left, and ahead. It's going to have to be a tight one. So I start the turn around. Going to do a little bit of a leg here. There's our 4,200, so I'll bring the power in. Now we're on the downwind, and I want to fly right over this trail, and I'm actually having to crab to the right a little bit. I also feel like I'm getting pushed along pretty fast. Right? When we get to where the wires uh, make a left turn, can you see the wires right yeah. there? That's our next turn point. So we're going to make a right turn here, clear left, clear ahead, clear, clear right. Yeah, clear my right. Right turn. Again, it's going to be a pretty steep one because we're kind of turning into the wind. The wind's going to blow us off our course. We're going to go straight across towards the uh, the trail. Can you see the trail is about to be picked up right beneath me? Yeah. Okay, and we'll make a right turn here, clearing. Yep, clear your right. And then we'll head back parallel to those wires, and we're going to pick up that trail again in a second. So, your controls? Straight ahead. Clear to my right. Watch the nose comes up, airspeed decays up, so push it forward a little bit more. Watch the horizon and you see how I mean like the, the console comes up towards the horizon? Yeah. We can, my controls just for a second? Uh, yeah, control. Okay, I have control. So just watch where the compass sits on the horizon right now. Okay. And then I'll show you what I mean about letting it come up. So if we do a turn and it goes like that, watch uh -huh. my airspeed. It's only a matter of time before the airspeed bleeds off. Okay. Get back to a normal turn for a second, make sure we're still clear. Then there can be the opposite. So if I make a right turn, watch the horizon and the compass, see how they sit right now. We can have a diving right turn, see how the nose, you can feed it as well, of course. Yeah. But, so what we're really looking for when we do our turns, eyes outside, make sure we've cleared. Watch where the compass sits right now versus the horizon. And as we turn, just keep it pretty much where it was. Don't let it come up, don't let it come down. A little bit rough with the wind, but airspeed stays roughly the same. We don't have to then recover from this kind of up and down, jumping around the airspeed. Are your controls?